All right, so lesson 66 we get is about multiplying mixed numbers. So here I have a length of fabric was cut into four equal sections. Each of the four students received two and two-thirds yards of fabric. How much fabric was there before it was cut? So if I end up, I have four students and each student gets two and two-thirds yards, okay, that means I'm going to be multiplying to figure out the whole amount. I'll be multiplying four times two and two-thirds. Now I cannot multiply by a mixed number. So I first need to change um, my whole number into a fraction, so 4 over 1. And then I need to change my mixed number into an improper fraction. Okay, so to do that, remember, we multiply 2 times 3 to get 6. And then I add the numerator. 6 plus 2 is 8. So I end up with 8 thirds. Now I can multiply these across. 4 times 8 is 32. 1 times 3 is 3. Now I'm not finished. I need to change this back into a mixed number. So to do that, I'm going to figure out how many times can 32 be divided by 3. If you're not sure, go ahead and do the division problem. Remember, first number always goes in the box. So we have 32 divided by 3. 3 goes into 3 once. That's 3. Subtract it. 0, bring down the 2. 3 goes into 2, 0 times. Okay, So I end up getting 10, and then I have the remainder of 2. So 10 and 2 thirds. So the, the fabric was 10 and 2 thirds yards long. Okay. All right, so now I have this problem. 2 and 1 half times by 1 and one third. So again, I need to change these to improper fractions. Do that by two times two is four plus one is five, so I have five halves. One times three is three plus one is four, so I get four thirds. Multiply them straight across. Five times four is twenty. Two times three is six. Again, we can divide it. If you're not sure, 6 goes into 2 0 times, can't do it. 6 goes into 20 3 times, that's 18. Subtract it, have 2 left over. So my answer is 3 and 2 6, which reduces down to 3 and 1 third. And that's my answer. So that's all. Good luck on your homework.